Hello and welcome back to another podcast episode. Obviously, I'm back with Joe. It's been a while. It has been a while. We been busy. Been have busy been very for... busy, but we say this every single podcast, so I don't think you really want to hear hear about our work life because no one no, no one, one cares. cares. But um, but yeah, a lot a lot of a lot of stuff's been going on. Um, but we're just here to talk about specific the stuff, the specific things we want to talk about probably mainly music stuff because that's mainly all that we actually care no. about yeah, no. and know about sort of yeah i mean Ish. know about's an overstatement yeah do we we pretend we know about it we're a little bit educated we have opinions on music more than <laughs> anything else we have yeah that's that's literally it we we're not educated we just have opinions but um do you want to start with a let me swing my no- my, my notes up because i do have notes no, Not we're, many. We're moving up in the world. We've got two laptops. Yeah, we've got two laptops now. Um, this is slightly too small for me <laughs> because it is a 13-inch MacBook. Um, yeah, and I don't know how much that is. To be probably honest. the same. Probably. But yours is yours has got like a border in it. Yeah. But um, shall we start with the freshman? Let's start with the freshman. All right. I've got it on my phone. Yeah. I mean, I've only got the note, so I don't really. Yeah, I've got the people. I'm so ba- obviously. Everyone know would know now because it's come out. They've all, most of them done their freestyles as well. Double XL Freshman Twenty Twenty. I was surprised it's actually happening because obviously what's been going on in the world. Mm. I thought because usually they bring it out June time, innit? Yes, yes. Obviously they're back to sort of post postpone it. Obviously we're in August now, but I just I just expected there not to be any this year. I thought they were just going to call it off. Yeah, I mean I sort of at this point. For the past like sort of couple of years, I've been over the freshman anyway. Yeah, because like, I feel like it's very. It's, I I don't know how to word it because it's obviously. I don't think it's people who are going to be coming up anymore. I think it's people who are popular more now. It, it, it's already hit its peak, and I don't think you're going to be able to beat that peak. There's about two or three people on the ones that I get excited about now, but the most of the other ones, I'm I'm a bit like oh. I mean, I can't care. really remember so. 2019 was the one with Comethazine and that, wasn't it? Yeah, and it had what was Mosey. 20, what was 2018? Because um, 2017 was the one with Playboy Carti and X, wasn't it? Yeah, 2018 so was 20... Ski, J.I.D. Yeah, that, that was that, all... I think that was a really, even though it Except had... for them two, I thought it, it had It had a, like, a few sort of known names. It had names. Wi-Fi's funeral when the yeah. mere. But it was a very forgettable freshman yeah list and then like, obviously 20, 2016's when it peaked yeah definitely it will never get better than that cypher you all know what a cypher it is yeah we do it, the ones that shall not be, be named because they're so popular popular and hall of famers who picked this sorry as V Kodak Black Kodak Black Denzel, Denzel Curry, Curry who's probably somehow the least the most po- underrated artist on that list and he's still and he's still, still big big and then you've got Little Yachty, who's killing it now. 21 Savage. 21 Savage. Uzi. Uzi. Is that it? Are we forgetting someone? I feel like we are. I feel like that was it. Yeah, because you had... Try Den- and do it in order. You so had Denzel, Denzel Curry. And then Uzi come in. Was it? Yeah. Then it was Yachty, and then it was 21, and then it was Kodak. Because um, Yachty and Uzi were going, 21, 21, 21. And then when Kodak was going, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> When Uzi was, I keep forget. I keep thinking that I think you I are, like you are six, right. I think there is only five of them. But then, uh, before we start about who's in it, I am surprised Corday's not in it this year. Corday was in it last year, bro. Was he? Yeah. Oh shit, he was. Oh, don't worry <laughs> then. I'm not surprised then. I just thought he was not in it. See, that's how forgettable last year was. <laughs> and yeah, he, no, he, oh, he, yeah. he was in it with Rico, Rico Nasty, and Blueface, and um, yeah, Blueface. See, I remember. <laughs> Want to play with my Rufus? Yeah, that that. To be honest, like Blueface had one of the. I better. mean, looking at them, that, they're, they're not they're, really. It wasn't really that bad. Gunner didn't do a, a freestyle. Was, was shocking. Yeah. Oh, you know what doesn't? And YK Osiris, but I mean, the baby Meg the Stallion, Corday, oh, Comethazine. Twenty nineteen was quite a big one. You know, it was because all of them are quite big now. Isn't yeah. It? You know uh, what does annoy me is. Everyone in the comments and all the freestyles know is him blinking is better than Mosey's freestyle. Yeah, you know, you like just shut up. It's boring now. It was funny. <laughs> it was funny before, but it's not funny now. But no, like literally, Lil Mosey's Lil Mosey's big still. He's a big yeah, artist. He, he just can't his... freestyle. No, it, it was just terrible. 
But um, let's get on to this year, twenty twenty twenty. So let's. I'm gonna go down this way. Got twenty four k gold. We'll just we'll say the artist and we'll say what we think about them if we know anything about yeah. them. Twenty four k golden. I know him from TikTok. Yeah, that's all I know him from. He has a few. and he's he's all right. He's okay. Also, something else. I I don't know whether we haven't spoke about this off camera. Whether you're not, you're gonna do a review of Before the Storm. I might do. I'm f- if fifty fifty. He's on that as well. He's on that, and he's all right on that. But that's all I sort of know. That's from. all I, I know, know from that and TikTok. Yeah, but that's but, obviously only recently. Like before the song dropped last night. Yeah, and that's literally so, yeah. So this yeah, but yeah, that's all I know. From. Golden. I think he has potential. He's got a bit of a. He's got a bit of a unique sort of. He's got the baby voice, isn't he? I think you're thinking of someone else. Am I thinking of someone else? Twenty four K Golden sounds. He's very. Oh no, it was clear the, with what he says. He, no, no, it was the other person on before the storm. I had the baby voice. I forgot his name. You know. Yeah. He had the baby voice. But yeah, twenty four K Gold. He has. I think he does have potential. From what I've heard, yeah. especially the TikTok songs. He's not bad. He, he sounds alright. Sh- but that's why he's on the fresh one because he's not there yet. Yeah. And then you got five year four on. I think he's good. Drill artist. I think he's a good drill artist. After. Pop Smoke, he's one of the better I ones in America. Yeah, I think he's sort of top second top. on that list. Yeah. It's sort of Pop Smoke and then 5 and yeah. then then probably really? 22 Gs. If I but... think about it, if Pop Smoke didn't unfortunately pass away, I don't think he would be on this cover. Because Pop Smoke was going to be on it, weren't he? What, you think he's... I think he's kind of replacing sort of Pop replacement. Smoke. Because it's a drill artist, isn't it? I think it's like for like... In a weird way, because Pop Smoke was supposed to, they did come yeah. out and say, didn't they? You were supposed to be on, you get or, what I mean? Or he might have been on air and someone else might have not been on air, like yeah. maybe someone like Cowboy or yeah, you probably, yeah, you probably, you might, probably, you might be right air. there, but yeah, 504. And I, I like his music, from what I heard, I like him, and I think he has potential to be a very good drill artist, yeah. He just needs to keep dropping stuff, like what that's what drill artists need to do, they can't be inconsistent, they have to keep dropping stuff yeah. to keep up that demeanor and that. Exactly. They, they they always sort of hammer out music. I mean, that's what that's what Pop Smoke was doing. Yeah. So I mean, got Mal- Malato. Malato. Um, I don't even know who I've that ne- is I've... on this cover. Who it's, is that? It's her. Is it? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've, ne- I've never heard of her. Um, that's not me being call disrespectful. Us, call us basic, but we don't know who these more obscure names are on I, this list. I remember what well, you might do. I don't. I don't know about. Uh, but I remember watching the, you know, they do the hate, uh, read hate comments. Yeah. Someone commented like, "Who is this woman?" She's like, "Well, they know me more than you." And I was sitting there watching. I was thinking, "I don't know who you I are." No. I, I've never. Heard, I've honestly, honestly, got never. I try to keep up with the female artists now because I think a lot of female artists are killing it. Yeah. Like Meg definitely. The Stallion is taking it by I think storm. Meg Sta- I think Meg The Stallion's actually really good. Yeah, no, she is good. But then you've also got people like Rico Nasty. I think is quite good. Rico Nasty's and I think's on a different wave though. I think she's. She's more because I like very I, I like all sorts of weird music. Yeah, she's quite. Heavy. She makes weird music. She makes like what's it called? It's called like a. We've said we've had this in a different. Yeah, one. We've yeah. Spoke yeah. About, um, it's like a weird sort of subgenre, but she's sort of she's doing stuff with that like hundred gex, who's like a yeah. weird sort of. It's kind of like emo trap without being emo trap. If in a weird way. Yeah. I think it was like bar bar bubble gum bubble bubble gum bubble gum. That's it. Something wasn't it? Bubble gum music. Bubble gum trap or something yeah. like that. It's, yeah, it's that. But it, I lo- I like her sound and she's. And her with Kenny, it sounds crazy. Rico and Arsenal with Kenny Beats as well is hard. Yeah. That album. All right, Rod Wave. Obviously, everyone knows Rags to Riches. That's a big TikTok song as well. I like Rod Wave. I think oh, he has. Nice. I've, yeah, two TikTok songs. Not gonna like. I've not heard more of him as much as that. I've heard probably features and. I've listened bits. to the album. I can't remember what it's called. But I've got I had a few songs from the out from his latest album on my playlist. But I do like good. him. I think he's a good he's quite a good singer. Yeah, he's a talented guy. Yeah, and he, he has potential. And he just needs to sort of He's one of the best I think he's one of the ones on here what could easily become something big. He's definitely one of if not he's apart from obviously like Polo G. Yeah. And Ellie Chopper. He's the biggest artist on this list. Yeah. We'll get to him. We'll get to yeah, it. we'll get we'll get that. Uh, Rod Wave is very uh, good, very good. Got potential. Just needs to sort of he needs to keep branch, consistent. branch out a little bit and maybe try some new stuff. But. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Jack Harlow, very lyrical. Yeah, he, white he, lyrical rapper, he, typical. He, like, he, yeah, he's he, he is he's good. I I personally don't. I don't. He's not your to sort him. of. Thing. He's not I've only heard, sort of thing. I've listened to his. Al- I've got an album review, obviously, of yeah. it. 
and it was all right. He's kind of, it feels like in a weird way he's coming to step in for logic. Don't say that. It, no, it does because have you heard his freestyle? That's, that's putting him down. Oh, that's true. Saying he's like yeah, well, logic's he, replacement. He, he could probably if he doesn't if he starts being cringy like with some he's of the not li- that bad. No, if you got the li- some of the lyrics you hear him say, he could go down that cringy route like Logic did. Yeah, that's the problem. You got to make sure you're not cringe. When, especially, especially when you're a white rapper. Let's you put it this way: sure I would r- I'd much rather listen to Jack Harlow than than Logic. I see that. I see that. I don't like logic, but, but <laughs> I, I guess that, mate. But Jack Jack Harlow's good. He has potential. A lot of obviously they're all gonna have potential because they're freshmen, aren't they? But he, he's, I think he's good. He obviously, he's got that one big song. What's popping? We done a music video, like video. Yeah, we watched that. We watched that in the video, and that was quite. It was. It's a good song. The free, the remix. You heard the remix with Tory Lanez in that. I've sort of heard snippets. I haven't actually listened. to You'd it. probably quite like that. It's got Little Wayne, Tory Lanez, and the baby. So Jack Harlow was good on that as well. Baby Keen. I like Baby Keen. I've only ever listened to Orange Soda. Have you heard his, his album? Right. good. You probably like his album. He's, I like a few of his songs. He's quite dark. He can be quite dark in some of his things. If I'm honest, yeah, I think he's got one of the more annoying voices. Oh, really? Out of everyone on this list, like, yeah, I don't, I don't really. He's, he he sounds awkward. I'll get you. But I then I think, really that's the, I think that's he's trying Maybe to come that's across. Thing, yeah, but he might be coming across that he's trying to be like the the kid who gets bullied. Yeah. Because have you seen his freestyle? It's him, and he's got like he's in a dark spot, and he's got his hood over, and he's like looking down the whole time. So maybe this is like his act. He's yeah. trying to. But uh, and like obviously that out al- is it the album cover is him just getting like beaten by women. Yeah. So maybe it could be his thing. Some artists go down that sort of route, don't they? But I like I like Baby Keem. Yeah, he's all right. You might like him if more he brings out music. Yeah, maybe because he he might have like that. It, like I said, it might just be his act because some of them have an act. Yeah, Little T J, she a virgin. Little T Little T J is really good. I wouldn't say really good. I think he's really good. I think the what that more of the singing stuff. That's oh yeah, I, sing, like, I prefer his singing to his rap. That's rapping. why I like Rod Wave. I like I like the sudden wave of like sort of singing more s- singing rappers than actual rap. Than rap. actual like just fast rapping yeah. for the sake of it. You know, I, I agree. I prefer Little TJ's singing. Like when he sings the Virgin line, people act like he says that in every song. But he only said it in three, but it's it is quite fun. It's a good meme. But yeah, no. I think he he has potential to be really really big. He's only eighteen. Mm. He's really young. Like he's really really young. Is he? Yeah, he's only eighteen. So he's got so, he's got so much time. Becomes comes across a bit like a cock sometimes because he's very he's not humbled himself at all. But then when you're an eighteen year old and you've got that big, yeah, you can either go the Chief Keith way where you just kill people, or you go a little TJ way where you're be Chief arrogant. Keith and be one of the best artists of Ever. the current generation. Man only turned 25 the other day. He's been around for 10 plus years. I can't believe it, and he looks 40. I know. I actually thought he was like old, like proper old. It's because his flipping hair is so long over yeah, it's his like face. Down, it's like down here, isn't it? It's like, you can't see him at all. Um, Chica. Chica. I've heard like really good things about Chica. I've only heard good things about it. I've heard that apparently she's one of the better female artists. But I've not heard, actually heard any of no. her music. I've heard more of her... Then that Maleto, because they're both feet. Yeah, I've never, I'd, yeah. I've, I, Chica, I've actually heard people go like, she's actually really good. And from a, from what I've heard, like the little tiny bit, she's a bit of a fast rapper. Yeah. And apparently, but she don't just gibber, not gibberish. Yeah. Like what Eminem and people like that can do. Mm. She actually like speaks like quite truthfully, and she actually comes across quite intelligent. Yeah. When I was watching her read the hate comment, she's going, "Oh well," and she like speaks really proper. Yeah. So. But no, she, I've, I think she... I need to listen to more before I can judge her. I haven't listened, so I can't really have an opinion. I've literally only heard a tiny, tiny bit. Yeah. Little Keed, I don't know what to make of him yet. You probably like him, don't you? Um, He's your, he's that sort of way for you. He's like the Playboy he's a young, party room. Because he's a young fug clone. Hmm. I mean... S- he, he sounds like he's trying to imitate Young Fug more than the other Young Fug clones. Yeah. Yeah, Gunner and Little Baby are starting going They've down their sort own route of their, now. You can tell. But whereas when you listen to Lil Keed, he sounds like he's doing a bad impression of Young Fug. Yeah. 
And I don't like his hair. Yeah, and that's another reason why he's copying young folks, copied his hair. But um But I mean no, I don't the really is, like he's not that good. All yeah. the young thug clones have always have potential because everyone loves the young thug. Yeah. Like that tweet what I sent you, well, it was it said basically how can people listen to young thug clones just go listen when they're just bad versions of young thug? And I think that was implied to Little Keed. <laughs> Little, yeah. Because he was on Before the Storm as well, weren't he? Yeah. Little Keed. So it probably was towards him. And that, I do agree with it to some point because Little Keed is so much like him. Like, yeah. Little Baby hasn't missed 2020. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, no, he's, he has definitely sort he, He's just blown up. Yeah, he's, like, he's one of the biggest just, artists at, at, at the moment. And yeah. Gun, Gunner is a good artist. As well. I do appreciate Gunner's work. I See, I've always been a person who would rather listen to Gunner than Lil Baby. Yeah, I'm a Lil Baby instead of Gunner. Personally. But like like now, I it's not I don't dislike Lil Baby. I just wouldn't listen to him. Yeah. I li- I listen to Gunner. Yeah. But it's just cuz I think Gunner's like his music sounds really cool. That's yeah. why I like it. But Lil Key, like you said, he's like yeah, he's like he's a bad not, impression. Yeah, he's not that good. You know when you get them people in like the pubs and they're trying to be Michael Jackson. Yeah, like it's a like, tribute act. Yeah, he's like a tribute act to a young folks. Literally, yeah. That's a, yeah. NLE Chopper, he was, he's been big for years now anyway. Pretty good. He's only like 17. 17, yeah, he's, 18. He's young as well. And he's, um, I'm trying, there's someone he's very, he's so like, like the way he kind of comes across. There is an artist, I've, but then he might, I think he's trying to come across kind of like how Chief Keef and stuff like that comes across. He's like this let's be honest see, they're, they're all just like young artists but he he's sort of he's coined his own sort of sound as well with a shot of flow yeah he's got five of them now I don't know how he's managed that neither do I but he, he he's good the shot of first shot of flow is a brilliant song yeah it's so sick but he, no he's good I think he has good potential again but that's what I'm saying that all of the artists on here I think they're all like fairly average except for Polo except G except for Polo G yeah, no, I, mean, I agree. I think Polo G's r- like really Polo good. Polo G's already big now. Like NLE Chopper is big now, but when you compare him to Polo G, mm. we'll get. Like I said we'll get to Polo G. Uh, so NLE Chopper, what are you saying? Got Very it. good. I'm looking forward to it. Yep. But I mean, I'm interested to see who he's going to line up with with the cipher. Yeah, I, it, I think it all matters who they're pair, like sort of put with. with. Yeah. Because um, I mean, if like, if you've got like NLE, if you've got Rod Wave, Lil T J. Chica, maybe. And Chica. That will, I think that will easily be like the best one. Or maybe even with Baby Keem, actually. Yeah. Baby Keem, Rod Wave and Little TJ. We'll, we'll do that at the end, actually, once yeah, we go yeah, through. Yeah. Cowboy. I'm not going to lie, I've not no. heard any near... We can probably no. just skip over him, if I'm honest. Cowboy. Because we can't really... He, I've he, literally never heard of him. His forehead is huge. <clears throat> but I've, I've never heard of him. And that's not disrespect, but that's another person I've just not heard yeah. of. Not heard anything from. Polo G. The goat on the on the list. Yeah. He he's the he's big now. He's out. His albums are brilliant. Both of them are brilliant, from what I've heard. Mm. Yeah, the, like I mean, thingy the goat. I'm trying to pull it up. But um, then you got the song with Little Dirk and Little Baby, Free Headed Goat. Yeah, that is such a banger. You've got the song Twenty One. What's on the goat? Um, Twenty One is such a cool song. And then you've got his song with... Um, and it was like the video... I saw the video of him doing it live. Yeah. In um, like in his in his house for Genius. What, that was really good. What I, um, I thought was sick is um, I saw a, a comment on one of on his... On Polo G's, like, a video, what he was in. And it said, Polo G don't feature on songs, it becomes his song. Yeah, And I literally. thought, that is so true. Because on Free Headed Go, he had the best verse. And that's with Little Dirk and Little Baby, who are very good artists... Mm. And then you've got Hate the Other Side. You probably haven't heard it. It was Juice World song, Hate mm. the Other Side. It's got Kid Leroy and Polo G. Polo G killed that. Everything I've heard from Polo G has been good. I've not actually heard of one bad song of him, personally. He's definitely the most anticipated artist on this list, but it would suck if he, if it was a gunner situation where he appeared on the cover but he didn't have a cypher. It wasn't in cypher. cypher. Yeah, I don't think he will. He had a freestyle. He's done, he's done more than Gunner already. No, gunner, de- gunner had a freestyle. Oh, he did, didn't he? Yeah. Hopefully he does a cipher. Hopefully he don't act like he's too, too big for it. Yeah, I think he's quite a humble guy though. Yeah. so I think he he'll probably and he, he's probably sick. Take part. He, on this list, he is the best artist. Whereas Gunner's, no Gunner's just a bit of a prick, and he sort of just he thinks they made thinks it. He's better than yeah. better than everyone. 
All right, so let's go through who we think the side who they should be paired up with. Right. <clears throat> Right, let's start with Polo G because he's obviously the top dog. I think po- I think it should be Polo G. You didn't didn't usually they have like the the faster rappers with each other, the singers with each other. Like this, it depends what like, what sort of music they make. Don't I, that, but where like I don't really listen to many of these artists, I can't. I think Polo G twenty four K Golden is probably a good, reasonably good pairing. To be, but when you think about it, Polo G and Lil T J have done a lot of songs together though. And yeah, they and then might you might have Lil TJ in that as well. So you probably them three, I think, is a good. Or shout. maybe Polo G, Jack Carlo, and Lil TJ. Yeah, that might be a shout. Yeah, I think, but I, I think twenty four K Golden will go with that sort of. So what we're saying, Polo G, twenty four K Golden, and Jack Lil, Carlo, Jack Carlo, them three, you know with that. Yeah, I'd say I think. I think people like 24K and Jack Harlow need to be on a cipher with Polo G to bring them up. Mm. Where I don't think little TJ and like Rod Wave really need to be on a cipher with them. Him, you get me? Yeah. Because I think little TJ is the probably after Polo G the next big one. Same with any chopper. Okay. Um. So we're saying them three. I'd say Rod Wave, little TJ, Baby Keen, like what we said. Yeah. I think that would be. Or I was thinking maybe like. Mulatto. Oh yeah, they won't put the Baby females Keem. with each other, would they? No, Mulatto, Baby Keem, probably like Lil Keed. Yeah, oh, that's a bit random, but it depends. It's just a. But it's because you've got like they're all different, aren't they? Really, in their own way. Because who's Fivo Foreign going to go with? You can't put him with. Well, he'd go with L and E Chopper, wouldn't he? Yeah, I'd say he wouldn't be going with like. He wouldn't go with like. That's the thing we can't. I can't really like give an opinion because I mean, like, I don't really listen to. I don't know who Cowboy is. I don't know who Mulatto. Mulatto is. I haven't listened to any Chica, any of Chica's music. I'd say it would be Fivo Foreign, and Lee Chopper, and Chica. That sounds from what I've heard of Lee Chopper and Fivo, and what I've heard of Chica. Or maybe it might be Chica, Polo G, Luke, like Rod Wave. It could. It could be any. I don't really know. I don't know. Whoever's with Polo G is going to need it, though. That's how I, yeah. how I see it. I feel like maybe we should scrap this bit. Yeah, we'll just... <laughs> we'll, I'll keep it. I'll because probably keep it keep in. Keep it in. But... That, we can't... We, that, I'm not... I've, I haven't... We haven't but, I mean, Lil Keed's like a... Just like bad young thug. So who's he, who's he going to... He doesn't pair yeah. with anyone. Like, you, you can't pair him with like... We can't pair him with Fivo Foreign. With a Foreign. true artist. You can't pair him with <laughs> Rod Wave. Lil Keed and Fivo Foreign. Yeah, they're complete like, opposites. You see what I mean? The, the, you can't, and you've got like, who's Jack Harlow gonna go with? Maybe like like Jack Harlow and Polo G are probably a good sort of yeah. That's why I, I don't. Know. But I mean, yeah, f- fuck that, fuck that. We don't know. Do you know what the annoying thing is? Is that I've just seen a photo. Oh shit! I've just seen a photo on Google. It's a thumbnail for a video, and you've got like Wine W Melly. Yeah. It's so it's so annoying because Wine W Melly would actually be so sick as I like know. a double XL freshman. He will never be put on it now. Never, he's too big for it anyway. Now. He'll never come out of jail. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He's ki- he killed he's, someone. He's got murder on his mind. So we've got like, I mean, we've sort of covered the double XL freshman. Yeah, that's double. That's our opinions on them all. Yeah, individually. I mean, I can't say I can't say much. When the ciphers come out, we might we'll talk about the ciphers yeah, yeah, if yeah, you want. Yeah. But obviously, right now, not out. That might be that might be better than as a separate video. Yeah, we'll do rather that rather than a pod. Yeah, that'd be cool. All right, yeah, we'll do that next bit. <laughs> Well, the we, next part, I thought it would be a good idea. This is where jo- Joe's taking control. So today. this is my segment, and we're doing we're doing quick fire opinions of albums. Obviously, I, I'm on my album reviews. You know, I want to sort of fire them at you. Mm-hmm. I want to be the person sort of, and I'll give them a little comment. But I want I want you to be the person who gives the opinions because you're the album review guy. There's been a lot of really good albums that have come out this year. I've just there I've is. just searched it up on Google, and there's more than what I thought. Like, I'd like to address. I have listened to more albums than what I've posted, but there's some of them I post, and I just haven't got enough. I'm just sitting there and actually just listening to it. Yeah. Because I'm just admi- either admiring it or I'm like, that is shit. I mean, I'm only gonna give you ones that I you think heard. you've probably listened to. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna give you ones that. Well, I tell you, most of the time I when I, I've listened most to, most of the time when I listen to it, I go to you. Oh, this album's yeah. good. So. Because I mean, you've got ones on here like Run the Jewels. I like Run the Jewels. I don't know if you've ever listened to Run the Jewels. 
But I mean, you've got like Jay Electronica. I know you probably haven't listened to Jay Electronica's album, so I'm not going to bother with them. But right, first one on this list, we've got Eternal Take. Uh, I done the album. I done five. I think a five. So I thought it was just mid. I thought it was mid. I think he's probably one of his wor- worst projects. Best songs. Wait, let me get. I, I can't remember all the songs. Come on, you need to know. Eternal Take is one of the albums you need to. You need to know the track list. You need to know it. Eternal will take um, best songs. Yes, Sersky. Um Oh yeah, we're not counting the original. We're doing the deluxe. Deluxe. I haven't heard enough of. The, I haven't heard. No, the that's the, that's off the deluxe. Oh yeah, yes, Sersky. Then yeah. um, probably I can show you. Uh, straw strawberry pills. Top three. Okay, my opinion quickly. Yes, it's all right. Um, I actually prefer the original. Track list mm-hmm. to the deluxe. Yeah, and my favourite songs: Venetia, Prices, and probably Baby Pluto. Top three. Yes. Mid though as well. Mid. Not all that. Yeah. Um, have you heard Eminem's album? No. We'll skip that. Alfredo. Brilliant. Beautiful. Album of the year. Up there, definitely. I nearly. I wanted to cry. It was that good. Uh, best songs: 1985. Um, Scotty Beam. No, not for me. Oh no, actually, yes, Scotty Beam, I forgot that's Rick Ross. Rick Ross is sick. Um, something to rap about. Top three. I com- I actually completely agree with that. Alfredo, Freddie Gibbs, Alchemist, Freddie Gibbs. Mm-hmm. Probably my perfect album. It was it, it is up there. My turn, Lil Baby. Haven't heard it. You haven't yeah, you have. I haven't. Oh no, I have. Joseph showed me. Because he's a fucking you have. baby fanboy. Um probably Woe, Live Off My Closet. Um. So what's the we paid? People saying that's album of the year. I don't listen to Lil Baby, so I can't comment. I don't think it's album of the year. We've got Kenny Beats. What's that? Denzel Curry, Kenny Beats, Unlocked. Oh, I've, I have heard that. I don't do know you album. like it? General opinion? Uh, yes, I do. I do like it. Uh, best songs: Take It Back, V Two, Diet, and So Incredible, B K G. It was. Um, I think I've done an album review of that. I think I gave it an eight. It was just too short. Mm-hmm. Thought it needed to be longer. Haven't listened. Can't really comment. Yeah, listen to Unlocked. No, that surprised me for you. You love Kenny Beats. Yeah, I do like Kenny Beats, but I mean, what can you do? Is what it is. Circles, Mac Miller. Haven't heard it. Cause Maisie, my girlfriend, loves Mac Miller, and I can't be bothered for her to then talk to me about Mac Miller. I've heard that it's album of the year. I've heard very good things. I mean, I've been listening to a lot of Mac Miller recently. I want to listen to it. I do need to listen Swimming to it. Swimming is a beautiful album, but I, again, we're, we're not really good f- music reviewers. Well, I, the thing is, I haven't... Because heard... I can't... I haven't... I mean, I've heard songs, but I can't recall them, and I can't recall the, tra- like the track list. Like, Don, I mean... What about Don Tolliver's one? I've heard that. Mid again, really. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard better. Euphoria is probably his best, best song with... Com- company on. and I like Spaceship as well with Shaq West I think probably Cardigan No Idea and Euphoria sorry Basic Bitch Ugh, I think they're nice TikTok um, The Goat Polo G haven't heard it yet because I'm going to do an album review okay my opinion very good probably about a s- 7 or songs 8 songs I've heard it? are 21 and Flex with Juice World. yes very good songs both of them we've got like Funeral Lil Wayne not listened to I it I've not listened to it Meg The Stallion's album. Not listened to it. Dark Lane demo tapes. Drake. I've heard it. I've uh, done an album review. I think I gave it a eight or seven. One of the two. That's very high, I think. But I like. I, I think I that's like this a very. Drake. I think that's a very very average project. No, I like it. I, it's it a, I mean, it's a mixtape. But so then it was it literally really... had come out like a couple of hours. Like, it's a cool selection of songs. Yeah, my favorite songs: Chicago Freestyle, uh, probably Tootsie Slide, and. From Florida with love. Yes. Not pay ninety nine for really. No. Because Carty. Because it was, was terrible. Because Carty is bad on that. Um, Wanna. <laughs> Haven't heard it. I can't listen to oh, the whole Wanna. Gunner project. I'm not going to lie to you. I listened to it all the way through when it came out. I can't do it. And. It's like. Gunner's like Nav for me a little bit. I can't listen to a project <laughs> of him. I can't do it's it. It's what you expect from a. Gunner Gunner album. Album. I've heard good things, but that's all from Gunner fanboys. So yeah, it's it's okay. I mean, obviously notable ones like Dollars on My Head. With oh my god, it's just started hammering it down with rain. Dollars on My Head, 
with Young Thug is obviously the most one of the most popular songs on the album. Yeah. And it is it's all right, but maybe a six or a seven. I don't know. Maybe a so. five, actually, it's all right. Um, Revenge of the Dreamers. Is it two? I haven't heard it. Three. Oh, Revenge right. of the Dreamers. Oh, I have three. heard it, actually. Um, let me get it up. J. Cole. Um, I thought it was decent, probably six Jordy. or six or seven. Nothing not nothing it. amazing. Under the Sun, Oh Well Swerve, and Sleep Deprived are my top three. J.I.D. was brilliant on it. We've got next, Meet the Woo 2. Meet the Woo 2, let me get this up. I need to remember track list. Mixtape. Um, very good. Not his best one. Because we've got, we've got, the what, I mean, we, we've got one, we've got songs like Shake the Room and Foreigner, oh, Dior Bonus. I don't know. Very big, big songs. Get Back, obviously a massive TikTok song and it's also quite a good song. If I'm looking at the our actual album, taking out account of what's happened to him and everything, think, think, I think Shoot for... It's not an album thing. though. It's a it's it's a mixtape, so you've got a you've got to consider the fact that it was probably a lot of songs that he just wanted to release, yeah, that were there, and he wanted to just put it out, yeah, as a collective rather than releasing them as singles. He wanted yeah. to release it as a thing, but then you've got um, shoot for the stars, aim for the moon, or whatever. It's an album. It's a package. Yeah, that's and you why need I to listen better. to it start to finish and have it as a package. judge it as a package of songs rather than with, individual ones put together with Meet the Woo 2 I'd probably give it a 6 yeah because like you said it's probably not it's not an album I think but, or a 7 maybe a 7 I think it's more of a a less ambitious collection of songs I think Meet the Woo 1 was better mm. than Meet the Woo 2 I think it's probably his worst project personally Christopher Walken Foreigner and probably Element are my f- top three. So we have. Shall we do shoot for the moon while we've mentioned? Yeah, it? we'll go we'll shoot for the stars, aim for the moon. Um, it's probably a as an a, album. A, yeah, for me, should we say that? I don't know if you've d- listened to the deluxe, but it's the original features that were supposed to be on the songs. Oh, is it? Yeah. So I think the deluxe is an is an actual like nine for me. And that's like my top three albums of 2020. I haven't heard the deluxe yet. I'm not going. It's to sick. It. It's so sick. I'd say if um, if I going off the original, my top three songs would probably be 44 Bulldog, um, the Woo, and Mood Swings, and I'd probably give it an eight. See, I I like the slow songs. No, I get that. I do like. I, I, I don't. I'm not a massive fan of like the drill ones, but I I like. Like for the night with the baby and little baby. Yeah, I get that. Um, oh, actually, that no, that. What you that know about love? Probably. Yeah, but I've heard for the night on a lot on TikTok. Probably got it on me. Got so I'm a bit of a Fifty Cent fan. Yeah, that's a banger as well. Um, there, there is a lot of good songs. I was just going off top three. Yeah, just yeah. trying to think of seeing them, just being like, oh yeah, shit, I like that one. Let's quickly gloss over Future's album. I haven't heard it anyway. Shit. Um. In my opinion, blame it on baby. You did a review I mean, of this. Blame it on baby was that twenty twenty? Yeah. I haven't done blame it. Blame it on baby. I've done these other two. I swear you did blame no. it on baby. No, I done whatever the other baby on baby. And the I swear you did. No, I didn't. I done his twenty nineteen one at the end of the year last year. Mm. Oh, at the start of this year. Sorry. I can't really comment. I don't listen to it. It's probably the same as the other two anyway. Yeah. Legends never die, Juice World. Well. Is that your album of the year? Um, no, I think Alfred Fredo is a better album than this. You'd put that over Legends Never Die. Yeah, but it's a very good album. But then I am a Juice World fanboy. I'm not. As massive. you can see, I've got his shirt. What come yesterday? Um, it's not really your sort of music. It's very very sad. I like Juice World. I just don't like. Do you not like his projects? Uh, yeah, I mean, I I like. I mean, I, again, I don't mean to sound like a little hipster but I saw him on like when he was doing his SoundCloud stuff and I thought it was like really cool because it was it was different yeah but there's so much of him about now I feel like it's sort of it's diluted him I think him passing away as well has brought him really into the mainstream yeah because he's on the radio now yeah but top three songs Hate the Other Side um, Screw Juice 
wishing well, and I'm gonna put man of the year as a un like a mention as well. I mean, I know that I like Screw Juice. Yeah. So I can say that that's probably my favourite song. But Legends of a Die, I'd probably give that an eight as well. It's up there, but it's, I'd say Alfredo is a better album. Mm. I know you can't comment, but Pray for Love by Rod, Rod Wave. I haven't heard it, no. Um, good. What you'd expect from a Rod Wave album. Uh, a Boogie. Have you listened to that? No. Yeah, I've only right. heard good things, but then they're all A Boogie fanboys. Just Calls What You're Wanted, Lil Dirk, Not Listened. Not Listened. Um, Insomnia, Skepta, Young Ads, Chip. Oh, I've not heard. I think I've heard it. Insom. Mate. Uh, it's quite. It's a good album, to be fair. I like Mains. Uh, I can't phase, believe how much I liked it. And probably Mike Check as well. Are probably my favourites. But I'd say a seven. Skepta, so eight. Auto for me. Um, what's his name? Who's his name? Young Ads ruins it a little bit. I think on certain songs he really adds to yeah, it. Yeah, he adds to it. But, but, I Chip, think Chip, but Chip, Chip and Skepta. Chip was a very unsung hero. He was probably actually the best overall on the album. Yeah. Um, Big Conspiracy, Jay Huss. That came out this year. I actually still haven't heard it. I'm not going to lie to you. Mate, that's probably shifted my top five about. Because I didn't realise that was this year. Uh, no, I haven't heard a, a Big Conspiracy theory. No, Limbo. I am going to do an album review on it, but I do think it's a very, very good album. Yeah, it's cool. Um, Nina's a cool, cool dude. Favourite songs? Uh, probably Pressure in My Palms. Uh, uh, there's a lot of good ones. Uh, Burden and Roots as well. That's what I'm saying. That sort of comes to like the end of it. Like, I mean, we've, we've Shall missed we do Internet few. Money? Because they come out last night. Yeah. Um, Internet Money's album Before the Storm. Disappointing. Very disappointing. Just because of the features. Probably my favourite songs. Uh, Blast Off, Somebody, and probably Lemonade. It's probably the only time I've enjoyed Naz. Naz? Not the only time I've enjoyed Naz. Nav. The only time I've enjoyed Nav. Um, It's probably like a four. Four, Three or four, I'd give it. (sighs) Yeah, so I think that's fair. I think that's totally fair. I mean, this has been sort of the music cast. But I've got that sort of... That comes to the end of my segment of the, uh, the quickfire album reviews of 2020, obviously... It's a whole yearly thing, so we probably won't be able to do this again. No. <laughs> so well, we, we sort might, of we wasted that to. opportunity. We might be able to. <laughs> but I mean, like, it, again, I'll probably just, I'll come up with some other quick now, fire stuff. We're going to gonna think of, um, we are planning on doing another tier list. Yeah. Tier list is, is going to happen again because it was your most, it's your most viewed video yeah. on it's the on, channel. It's, it's on like 700. And I don't, I don't see how. how. Neither do I. Because, it because was, we're just sitting there eating food. We're and sitting there eating pizza. And then talking about albums. That was actually it. It's got 720 views. And it's fifty like 58 minutes long. So it's not even a short video. How on earth? I don't know, I don't I don't know, know how that's People happened. watch it all the way through. It's got like one of my best like... The like retention. Yeah. It's weird. I know. But I then I mean, people just really wanted to hear about the 2019 albums, obviously. I mean, yeah. We'll, we'll, do that for t- we'll do that for 2020. And something else I wanted to do. I wanted to do like a new age rapper tier list. Well, so like everyone. We thought we about um, English... Yeah, artists. we were doing. We we're gonna do like like British artists. Basically, we're gonna get George back. Yeah, we just need George. We need, we need to. But the thing is, though, it's gonna be difficult. It's gonna to have to be a Sunday. Yeah. If we're gonna record, but um. Or if we can, we'll get someone else. But George, he was part George, of the original. Yeah, we need to get George back because I, yeah, I do love George's opinions. Yeah. He does not give a shit. We should. We should start like like. I mean, we are thinking of getting people on. Um, like we said, everyone's so busy, and we're so busy now. Yeah. Now we're not kids anymore. Joe, Joseph, I know he wants to get on. He's going to be on um, Jack's. Jack's podcast, which I think will be quite cool. Like you, like you said, like you said to me. I guess, I guess that. Yeah, well, you need to come and help us. <laughs> you know, we um, it's oh, been well. it's been raining. My mum and my girlfriend just got home from <laughs> from like outside. Now my mum's closing the cab <laughs> look at her oh my god but um yeah no so that if there's a big big jump cut here that's why that's because <laughs> it's all it's all kicked off but um yeah no we jack getting joseph on his podcast joseph wants to get on on we we're looking to get jack on yeah. we're looking to get more and more people no one famous no it's not it's just going to be friends <laughs> just going to be our mates <laughs> it's literally no. going to be because we can't we're just going to talk about we're not going to be able to book crap. anyone no we're not 
Can't afford so, it. Yeah, we haven't got the money. We're just going to talk about WAS. So if you want to give us some money... Yeah, just donate a load of money. So then we can pay, like, artists and stuff to actually come on here and that. Imagine. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, so there is going to be big moves. The dog's gone mad. Big changes. Yeah, so um, we'll talk about the last bit, what we were planning to talk about anyway. With um, might be a change to the podcast anyway. Yeah, there might be a, li- a little bit of a... Name change. A, a, like a name change or... Yeah, just a little, a slight sort of rebrand because in a way it helps me yeah. because then I can have something to sort of do work for <laughs> because at the minute it's just you. Free. Yeah. Like we said, we have no money. <laughs> it's just you editing everything and I feel like I'm just sort of sitting, like doing nothing. So I have gives told him to that do. he doesn't have to feel that way, but he said he wants to be a part of it. So should we just like say the name and like what it, it, what it means? But then we have... We're thinking of projects to go further than this podcast, but we're not going to say what they are. Yeah, so should we... Say the name. So we, it's, we've decided to call the little like group thing that we've got going A1306. And the reason for that is because it's sort of... It's a very long road where we live, and it sort of connects me to everyone else. And that's the sort of the meaning. It's yeah. a little bit of a sort of personal meaning, but that is what it means, but... It also looks really cool on like on stuff. Yeah. So so we thought of, I was trying to think of like a cool short name that we could use for stuff. Obviously, and big brain Max come into play. Yeah. What about this? And looking at the roads. So, so that's what it is. And so I probably I don't know if I'm going to name this podcast this. I yeah. Probably will. We might end up doing a separate thing. There's going to be yeah projects afterwards. Yeah. But this podcast. It's going to be associated with this. Because what I was saying to so. Joe, I said at this point. He's not. A, he's not a guest anymore. He's a co-host yeah. as such. So it's not a, the climax podcast. Obviously, Max being the yeah. main thing in that. So as it's our podcast now, we thought it's better to do a name. Do brand. a little. Yeah. Do a little rebrand. And I mean, don't get me wrong. There'll still be obviously all the album reviews and everything. Yeah. Like that. All, nothing will change. It will just, just be this name is going to change. But it, it will give us more of an opportunity to and it branch will, out and maybe do different sorts of content and, and you create never, more things. You never know. If we ever do get a brand or something, I think that is going to be better for them than seeing Climax on everything. Yeah. So. Climax is definitely not a... Um, not a child-friendly name. Yeah. It's not something you'd want to be... Um, it's not something you'd want to be wearing. Exactly. Everywhere. That's what I mean. So if you've got A1306. I forgot it myself then. A1306. A13 for short. Yeah. The dog is going nuts. Yeah. Dog's wet. Dog's going mad. But I guess that that's everything we wanted to address. Yeah. We don't know when the next one will be. We're going to try and do it once a month, hopefully. Yeah. At least. I can't. I'm not. We're not going to promise. Last time we promised every two weeks, yeah. and we haven't kept that no. promise since. So don't. So we basically ignore everything we're saying. It will come when it comes. Yeah. When we when <laughs> once we a month again. is the target. We should yeah. be able to. We could do it do once that, a month. So if that means going different settings or anything like that, that's what we're going to plan. Yeah, we can mix it up. I, know, I mean, I know we've got some. We've got some time. We will have more time coming now. up that we can. We've got I, we've got stuff. ideas in our head as well, yeah. so we just need to get we need to do it. We're procrast- procrastinating. Yeah, that's what the problem is. But I mean, we can. Yeah, we got we got we got stuff on the way. Maybe a slight rebrand. Obviously, we'll have to just figure it out more and how to yeah. implement it. But I guess thank you for today's podcast. Obviously, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. All We're usual. on eighty nine subscribers now. So hundreds we're, on the way. We're trying to get to hundred, buddy, at least the end of the year, and I think we could be on target for it. But yeah, if you enjoy it, if you share this video out as well to anyone, let people watch it. Make people watch Just it. Just let people know. Spread the word. Then I'll. Re- we'd really appreciate it. But even yeah. even just the publicity, like sort of people see helped. people seeing it, seeing, helps seeing that brand, having having an, <laughs> having an impression. But yeah, thank you for today's video. Uh, we'll see you all later. See you in the next one.